Okay, in this video we're checking out the Dietone GTR349. This is uh, very similar to the other ones that I reviewed uh, you know, of the GTR series. Obviously this one is for 3 inch props and much, much bigger motors than this one. This has, uh, again, the Mamba system motors. I believe these are made by 3BR. And these are 1408 motors. Pretty beefy, 4000 kV, so definitely a battery. Uh, drainer, an amp hungry machine. Now the rest of the stuff here is going to be the same as the other ones in terms of electronics. The same Runcam Swift and uh, Runcam micro, um, yeah, video transmitter there. And then you have the same Mamba Mini Stack, which is the uh, 20 amp 401 EC and the 4 flight controller that was on the others of the GTR series. I believe the canopy is the same as well. Obviously to support these bigger motors, they've got to a much thicker bottom plate, at least a three millimeter bottom plate. Arms are still pretty skinny, but this is a lot more heavier. And also the motors are a lot bigger. I think most of the weight is in the motors. It does seem like it has a lot of power. I've already flown this. Um, yeah, that also, uh, as with all the other GTR uh, series, the this one does not come with a receiver. So I added my own XM Plus receiver there, as you can see. And I just ran the receiver wires out the arms like that. No problem in terms of reception. Now, I, I've flown this already, as I mentioned. I did a couple flights on a couple of the recommended batteries and sizes. So they're saying 3 to 4S. So I did a 3S flight and a 4S flight. And of the two, I think the 3S is probably better in terms of the tune out of the box. So they did attempt to do a tune on this like they've done on the other ones. But it seems like, on, at least on this frame design, um, or this frame style for the GTR series, there seems to be tuning issues. I'm not sure who is doing their tuning over there. They say they're doing black box tuning, but I think I have a theory as to what's going on with their tunes. At least it seems like their tunes are not that great. Um, and, and they may in fact have some people in their engineering department that are good at PID tuning, but I think what's going on here, this is my theory, and hopefully Diatone will pay attention to this, is that they are screwing down the stack here too tight so this vibration dampening is not effective anymore. So they have the, the, the F4 flight controller, which only has an 8K gyro. So the MQ6000 shouldn't be affected by noise as much as a 32K gyro, but because the, the silicone here is smashed down so much because these screws are so tight, I think that's affecting vibration and dampening. Basically, the, these uh, silicone grommets aren't very effective with it. Um, t uh, basically, the screw being tightened down so much. So, um, yeah, I did fly just the way it came to me out of the box. This one actually happened came come from Banggood. And I wanted to show you guys what it would look like flying out of the box with the tune it came with. And you'll see, you know, it's not not that great. So I think that they need to address their uh, way they're putting their stack together and the whoever's doing the assembly over at the factory. Because I think what's going on is they're up there when they go and do the tuning, they're actually building the stack properly. Obviously, it's a you know one-off custom build, right? So they're putting it together properly, and then they're tuning it based on that proper build. But then when when this design goes to um, get assembled in the factory, I think what's going on is that they're tightening this down too tight, not enough vibration dampening, and so the tune is basically ineffective. So that's what I think you're going to see there. So that's my theory. I'm going to put that to the test. I didn't really realize. I actually I didn't realize this theory at the time that I flew it and that's the voiceover you're going to hear me talk about that. Um, I just kind of came to that realization recently because I've been noticing that all of the of the design of, from, the, from the GTR series seems to be having this issue with tuning and this was no different so yeah I think obviously this is going to require a retune. So I'm probably just going to go straight to Betaflight 4.0 and what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, loosen up these screws here so that the, the stack is freely moving so that the vibration dampening is more effective and we'll see how that how that goes and then I'm going to actually come up with my own tune so if you guys want to see that uh, leave me a bunch of comments down in the comments section if I uh, see enough interest then I will uh, make a follow-up video if uh, there aren't enough comments or not enough interest then of course I'll skip that and uh, move on to other things that are going to interest more people a larger audience so if you're interested speak up otherwise I'm going to pass on this Anyway, I'll show you the 3S and 4S flights, and then you guys can be the judge for yourself as to what the value of this uh, model is and whether or not it's worth the extra effort to 
do the proper tuning on it, etc., etc. It's possible that by the time this video is published, uh, the Dynatone might have a new tune out for this. They're always constantly making tweaks. But I've, I have a funny feeling that this really has to do with the way that they're building their stacks in the factory. It's just too tight and uh, not enough vibration dampening. Anyway, that's my theory. Uh, here's the flight footage, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Okay, so I'm just going to be flying with the stock PIDs. Dynatone told me that uh, this will fly on 3S or 4S on the stock PIDs, so we'll just see how this uh, flies on 3S here. It's a 3S 850. I think it's going to be a little on the heavier side. And I'll try a 4S 550 in the next way. So just a short flight here on 3S. going to have a listen to the props. I don't see any obvious vibrations. Seems okay. Pretty poor lighting conditions right now. Obviously in 3S. Not as much top end, and you can see it pulled there when I went full throttle. That is an indication of uh, not a good tune in terms of the eye gain. Let's try that again. Okay, so that one, not as much. So let's try that again. Maybe if I'm just level here, level off, and then, yeah, see that? It pulled off to the right there when I'm just level. So something needs to happen with either anti-gravity or the eye gain is off. And the P gain seems a little on the loose side. But I think this tune's probably going to be better for 4S and 3S. And not much prop wash though. A little bit there. I mean it's definitely viable. 4,000 kV on a 3 inch 1408 motor. It's got enough power, you can definitely fly it on 3S. So it's going to be, it's going to have more power on 4S, obviously. I think it's plenty fast enough. Yeah, the dives aren't going to really work out so well. There's not enough eye gain to hold it steady. You got a lot of yaw drift there in that dive. So I think this, uh, this tune, at least on 3S, needs work. But I have a feeling it's going to fly better on 4S. I'm just going to go ahead and end the 3S flight here, and we'll go ahead and, and send it off, and we'll try out the 4S battery instead. Okay, so we're going to try the same, uh, bat our same uh, PIDs on... 4S, the voltage meter doesn't seem to be registering the voltage properly. That's kind of weird. All right. All right, let's take off now. I have some weird sounds coming here. I don't know if you can hear that. It's not smooth. So I'm using a 4S550. 
Yeah, this tune is not good either. Yeah, you can hear the oscillations. All right, I'm just, this is uh, probably gonna burn the motors, so I'm gonna have to land this and lower these pids, they're too high. Well, the motors aren't all that warm. They don't sound, the motors don't sound good. I don't know what's up with that, this tune. Uh, low gains, 22, F is 78. Hmm, so I'm gonna lower the P gain down to like 15 and unroll and drop the pitch down to 20, yaw down to 20. And I'm not so sure about these eye gains. I think they need to go up. I'll try 30, roll, pitch, I'll try 35. And the yaw, I'm going to leave it at a 30. And I think I need to also increase anti gravity gain. I think that's going to be here. So I'm gonna bump that up to like 7,000 something. Let's see how that is. It just felt really drifty. All right, so obviously that voltage is off. I don't know what's up with that. Doesn't sound all that much better. You can hear that whirring. Yeah, I don't even know what beta fight's on here. I, I didn't even check that. I have a feeling this is, this is gonna need a complete reflash. I don't like that sound. It doesn't sound smooth. On the 3S, it sounded okay. I mean, it sounded smooth. So and maybe this KV and this setup, 3S might be better and then just retune it for 3S. Yeah, this props don't sound right, but at least on this, at least on the tune, the tune I have now, it doesn't seem like it's vibrating as much. But you can still hear a little bit of that sort of oscillation. Yeah, you can hear that. Yeah, you can hear that. You can see that vibration actually there in full throttle. So maybe I need to even lower the P gain more. Obviously the out of the box tune is no good. At least on this setup, on the battery I'm using, they did suggest they did say the 3S and 4S would be okay. This is a, this is in their range of 4S 550. And look at that voltage; it's just way way wrong. Because I have plenty of power, so I don't know what's up with that voltage reading. That is really messed up. Yeah, full throttle, you can see that vibration. So this one's gonna need a, a retune for sure. I'll have another video later with uh, hopefully some better PIDs. I'm gonna ask Dieto and send me some better PIDs. So stay tuned and hopefully I'll have a better tune for you in the next video.